try to imagine a bubble containing billions of galaxies. Easy, right? Now, try to imagine all the matter what each bubble or galaxy and each star contains. Daily life, I'm happy to report, is wholly devoid of extreme situations. On a normal morning, you get out of the bed, wander around the place you live at, breakfast something, dash through the door, and by the end of the day, your loved ones fully expect you to look no different from the way you did when you left and to return home in one piece. But imagine arriving at the work and then suddenly losing all your electrons or worse yet, having every atom of your body fly apart. It is bizarre enough. I hope yes, because if so, your imaginations are at the right level. Try to imagine the bubble. Easy, is that? Now try to imagine a bubble containing billions of galaxies. Easy, right? Now try to imagine all the matter what each bubble or galaxy and each star contains. Wow, that is not easy, <laughs> right? No matter what. Galaxies are phenomenal objects in every way. They are the fundamental organization of visible matter in the universe. But visible in humans from planet Earth way. The our known bubble contains as many as a hundred billion of galaxies. Each of the galaxy contains hundreds of billions of stars. Most of them fly solo in space and the others orbit in a linked pairs by gravitational force, some in form of clusters or superclusters. At its center is a galactic engine, the black hole. Why I'm not so much fascinated by humans' future and this not so much unique life even in this form on this planet. Some form of life is common in the universe. In the long term, Homo sapiens will become extinct. The sun will burn all its hydrogen fuel. Milky Way galaxy will collide with Andromeda galaxy. The universe will cool down. And this bubble will implode. Just nine own atoms will remain forever.